Hi, I'm Hillary Holmes, operator in residence at Spot On. I've spent the last 20 years working in restaurants big and small, from privately owned mom and pop shops to chains like Hard Rock, Darden Restaurants, and most recently, Von Elrod's Beer Hall. Today, we're gonna to try to cover a more profitable menu in under five minutes. I know, five minutes for a profitable menu? You can roll with me on that. So before we begin, you're gonna to need to grab two things to start. We're gonna need a P-Mix. This is our sales mix. It tells us what items we sell and how popular they are. How many of those do you sell every single day? And then we're gonna need a recipe cost. Our recipe costing is how much it costs us to make each dish on the menu. When you think of the recipe cost, if you don't have an inventory software, I need you to think of all the ingredients that go into it as you're building those out. For a burger, let's say this includes the burger, the bun, the lettuce, the tomato, the mayo, anything that goes on that is part of your recipe cost. Once we have those two items, we're gonna bring them together and we're gonna make a grid. Our grid is gonna have two axes. On the one side, we're gonna put our popularity from high to low. How much do our guests order this item? How much do they like it? On the other side, we're gonna put profitability. Profitability is the same thing, high to low. Then we're gonna take every single one of those menu items that we have and we're gonna pop them on the screen. We'll start with that burger we talked about before. We'll say that it costs us $4.50 to make it, but we sell it for $15. And for the sake of this, it's gonna be one of the most popular menu items we have. We're gonna drop a dot in where it should be. Every other item on the menu is also gonna get a dot. I'm just gonna throw a few on here for time's sake. You might see some clusters, you might see some outliers. So long as every item makes it on this grid, we're doing well. At this point, we're gonna break it up into four quadrants. Let's start with the top quadrant. Up here where you put our burger, draw a nice big star. These are the recipes, menus, items that we are not gonna change. They are popular, they are profitable, and people clearly love them. Keep those exactly as they are. Those are your heroes, your stars. Next to that, we have our workhorses. These workhorses are high in popularity, but they don't make us a ton of money. If we can, let's look at those recipes. Is there a way that we could adjust them to make them a little bit more profitable? Maybe we can increase the cost by 50 cents or a dollar without making any huge changes that will shock your guests. The bottom corner opposite, these are our puzzle pieces. These puzzle pieces are great big question marks. What do we do about them? They make us good money, but they're not really popular. Maybe small tweaks in the recipe itself could help us create a little bit more popularity in it so that profitability comes to work for us. On the other side right here, well, this last quadrant are our dogs. My little sad face. Why? Because you're gonna nix those off your menu or reinvent them completely. They are not popular and they are not profitable. As you take these items to rebuild your menu, look at those stars, make sure we highlight them. Adjust those workhorses, adjust those puzzle pieces, and then how do we keep building profitability? Well, you have to replace those dogs somehow, right? Look at your team in the kitchen and ask them if they can come up with two recipes a piece using only ingredients you already have. This way you avoid the dreaded single use skews. You don't wanna order an ingredient because it's only used in one item or one dish. But if you can repurpose things you already have, you'll cut down on your waste. And this will create more profit for you in the long run. And then lastly, don't put more than seven items in any category. Seven is at the high end, but anything more than that is just overwhelming for your guests. Highlight your stars, no more than seven items per category. This includes your sides, and make sure that you're using ingredients in multiple dishes, and you'll have a more profitable menu in no time. If you have things you would like to add, or maybe questions you'd like to ask me about your menu, please drop them in the comments below. I look forward to seeing you next time.